you don't have to, but this job is made a lot easier if you safely raise and support the vehicle before you begin. You're also going to have to drain the oil. So for help with both of those projects, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Use a 17 millimeter wrench or socket with a ratchet to remove the drain plug, green arrow, and drain the engine oil into a drain pan. Working at the back of the oil pan on the left side, remove the three 10 millimeter nuts, green arrows, that secure the oil level sensor to the pan. Follow the wiring harness to locate the electrical connector for the oil level sensor. Push the retaining clip green arrow in and unplug the connector in the direction of the blue arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Make sure you clean the mating surfaces extraordinarily well and always use a new gasket. Don't forget to refill your engine with oil. Moving on to the next engine type, use a 17 millimeter wrench or socket and remove the drain plug on the lower oil pan. Drain the oil into a drain pan. Remove the three 10 millimeter bolts that hold the oil level center to the lower oil pan. When you remove this, expect additional oil to drain out. Follow the sensor wiring to the electrical connector and unplug it by pushing on the retaining clip and pulling the connectors apart. In this case, someone has spliced the wires together with a butt connectors. Green arrows. This will have to be cut and re-spliced. Installation is the reverse of removal and do not forget to refill your engine with oil. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.